It's a disaster everyone hopes doesn't happen. A passenger airbus goes up in flames after shrapnel from an Air Force Hornet jet pierces the fuel tanks and the cabin. Emergency crews jump into action to help the injured. In this scenario, 12 people out of 46 passengers are killed. The survivors suffering a range of injuries. I want to get my son! Where is he? Ah! Just stay as still as you can, you're going to be fine, all right? Casualties are separated into groups depending on the seriousness of their wounds. Once the situation is fully assessed, the survivors can be moved. Exercises like this are vital to ensure that the support services involved know their role when an actual emergency takes place. It's very important, especially for the outside agencies that aren't normally familiar with the airport. It gives them an opportunity to become familiar with the airport uh, layout and uh, to work with the other agencies on airport. Dubbed Hazmat Rhino, the exercise took months of planning by organisers who say an emergency like this is unlikely to take place. We have a wild imagination as exercise coordinators, but uh, it is highly unlikely, but uh, there is that risk. Nevertheless, the joint airfield emergency plan between the RAF base and airport must be practised to ensure everyone is ready. It makes me more confident and I think we're prepared. Kathleen Bruin, Nine News.